So, we've seen Jaxus play before. We saw Shiro play really an interesting game that last time round. So, yes. it's a lot different. It's a lot different than um, than Jax's style of play. When characters, when two players become extremely aggressive, it's not being so much about percentage buildup, but just because they're so on top of each other, it's, it's more about those optic nails where they just kill them, right? sending them straight down into oblivion. Okay. This happens when the characters get really on fire and they start to know about each other. I wonder what to expect. So look at that. They must be just doing a button warmer right now. I believe so. Charles are just feeling his wings there. I don't know what he's doing. Button warmers can be a hard part of the play. In fact, they can. Well, that was a fast game. I think it's not a mistake before it happens. I wonder if Charizard... What? Does Charizard have any alternates on the side of that? Jax is very fluent with what stages are and are not allowed. I think he's been doing this for a long time. I think he has indeed. And... Looks like they're going to go into the band phase now with the maps. Uh, yes. It's going to be interesting to see. If they pick Final Destination first, I'll be surprised. People usually like to leave that open at least as a last option. It doesn't have any platforms, does it, Final Destination? So no, it doesn't. That's why so many people like it. Though, so don't get me wrong, platforms can be very important part of the game. Would that be better for... I mean, we've seen Jax's play shit. We've seen Jax's play um, CSS. Platforms, Would it be fit for that? Platforms can be good and bad for me. You see, if an opponent lands on them, it sometimes can open up for more combos. Platforms can provide relief, though, from large amounts of projects. Right. Now, we saw Dr. Them. Mario be picked. So, if Dr. Mario is doing what... Or not Dr. Mario, excuse me, but um, the Villager. If the Villager is shooting projectiles, is he going to want platforms? Um, not necessarily. I mean, him and Dr. Mario are on a fairly similar playing field. I mean, both have a large enough... Or both have projectiles used at their disposal. Villager more. I mean, platforms are as much an advantage or a disadvantage. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about Villager to really say. Well, it looks like we're going to have Charizard um, and versus Sheik. Sheik. Platforms, yeah. I would say, are somewhat advantageous to Charizard because they allowed him to hide from... Uh, Sheik's needles, but only in that aspect. They, platforms can also make recovery better or That's easier true. on some characters. Uh, I still I don't want to say too much though because I don't know that that much about Charizard. In fact, today is the first time I got a really good piece of it, so to speak. Okay. Well, it should be very interesting indeed to see what goes down. Wait, what? What? What happened? Here? What just happened? Wrong course? I just noticed that that one didn't have any, well, platforms above the normal playing field, save a small swing to the side. That would have been an interesting choice. The bridge is breakable in that Or maybe he just wanted to change his color. <laughs> Gotta be the right color if you want to smash. If you're not smashing in style, you're not smashing at all. Absolutely, that is the motto of every smasher ever. And they do change maps, it's gonna be a different stage. Uh, no platforms here though, I do believe. Tournament mode. I'm not sure how different this is from Final Destination. I believe oh. it's wider left and right. Look at Sheik just also hammering and away at Charizard now. Getting the early lead like he likes to. It's still pretty even. Charizard should be considered at an advantage even when he's behind. He's hit it, in my opinion. Absolutely. Charizard is not too far behind now. He's hit a couple times. He got some good ones. Ooh, look at that. 72 damage. Charizard obviously with uh, those wings. He can fly, baby, fly, and he is no stranger to the outside edges of this course. Charizard has a sacrifice mood, unless um, made alternate, which I believe it is, where he would turn on fire and blast with opponents, similar to Foxy Falco, create an explosion upon contact, and did a decent amount of damage to opponents that cost 4% damage from Charizard. I don't see that being implemented here, though. <gasps> oh, so close to not getting that recovery, but he does score the recovery. Charizard Up to 100% be a already. Player. Today I just got to experience just how powerful Charizard is. And of course, wow. the best soundtrack ever. Whoa, that was a big smash, and one stop goes away. I got to admit, the music I am really feeling. Right Absolutely, now. that background music really gives us into the mood. You gotta the crickets love that, are very rhythmic. Yeah, you gotta love that metal soul. I mean, it just really feels like a good fight. Absolutely. Oh, and Sheik goes down. Jax's. Loses a stock, they're gonna come back, but Charizard's on 
45, excuse me, percent now. It's going to be kind of hard for him to come back from this, but I think she can do this. I mean, we've seen him do it before. I don't think it's really going to be a challenge, but... With uh, heavy characters and stuff like this, things can change so suddenly, even in favor of a faster and lighter character. Absolutely, because Charizard is going to be a bit slower because of that. She decide not to commit to that second area. Oh, but look at that combo. Racks up 20% right there. So much damage. Up to 82 total for Charizard. Or jump the fastest and then left to right momentum. Look at that. Kicking him up there. Such a bomb. Wait until it's over. And he's. Look at that damage. Just so. Charizard could be finished here now, but if she makes the wrong move and gets caught something, she can find herself on the other side. Oh, look at this. This could be it. He knocks him out, but it's not going to be far enough to get him off of there. Oh, but there's the air combat. He goes up. Will he come down? He will most assuredly. Fast falling to make sure he's in a safe location. She gets jumping like a madman at the moment. But 140%. Charles what is Charizard going to do? Seems a bit confused. Yes, sir. Charizard is staying well out of the Sheik's range. Both characters are for it. But Charizard is still a bit afraid to commit. Sheik. Oh, Sheik gets launched that time. Oh, oh but look at that return! No, Mark pulls it up to the edge of the screen where the oh, launch took place. Oh, it was such a beautiful kick, but as you said, not close enough to the edge of the screen to get that one. Charizard is at 171 oh. now. Can he truly keep Oh, he gets bit and he's thrown! Now she could get in a bad it? position. No, Charizard is able to... Oh, oh. such recovery! 189% on Charizard! Surely he cannot last... I know it's going to the shield much more than I, I do. I, think I like to rely on an in-place dodge myself when dealing with projectiles. I don't like the delay that comes Oh, from look at that. Squirrel through. Taking down Sheik. A little bit of... Oh! Oh, oh look at that. That's exactly look at that. what you want to do with Charizard's fire breath. But He's at 200% still giving the fight. Oh. This could be look Charizard's at this. game. The needles are almost KOing him. Win. This is unbelievable. He's flying. Quite literally. From the screen, it's gonna take oh, one or two more hits. Surely he cannot last much longer, and oh, that's gonna be a game! And game one goes over to Jaxus. Sir, we did not need a knight to slay this dragon. The princess did it herself in disguise. <laughs> Very good use of the law. Gotta give you props for the pun. Do you know how to work the bracket? Yeah, I do. Okay. Shiro won against Wizard Kelly 2-1. Um, I, I don't know how to make it this. You know that I've had two one. Actually, is Ganondorf against Zero Suit Sanimus? Really? Uh, I've been surprised, but I've won more matches than I would think. Thank you. But just people don't expect it. Looks like Brobear um, looking through this, he's making his way through the loser bracket. We could see him again in this tournament on the main screen. Excellent. For sure. So, That's exactly uh, don't what discount I want that. In fact, we're going to see later on, possibly, uh, Ninetales versus Brobear. In the loser bracket. Jax was to have a bit of fun with Zero Suit. I saw Lucina for a brief moment in that. Lucina used to be a hot pick because she was a new character, but now most people pick Moth over her because of the tipper. Tip of Mars Swords deals more damage. The Sheena deals equal damage across the entire blade. That looks like the Mario loser of this. Zero Samus. This is actually an advisable, um, in my opinion. The Mario loser the count zero. of this match is going to be taking on that guy. The fireballs can really cover the ground, and Zero does not necessarily have the best tactics against it. Yeah. Uh, certainly beat the Ray Gun. True, true, true. And Garden of Hope. About to conclude round two. We're going. We're going to go into semifinals, which is also losers round three. Uh, pretty yes, soon here. Uh, a few more games left to play. It's like Mario's got his fire suit on. He absolutely does. Sheep going in. Oh, excuse me. CSS Ooh, going in for combo. early damage. Look I can't at Mario. He the series of up tilts. I haven't been able to do that myself yet. Oh, what a huge hit! Boy, CSS is going to bring it around. Look at that kick! And he's going up. Oh, he's going up, and that's a kill. I can't oh. believe it. Jaxus has shown us the true art of his professionality. So incredible! Insane. Mario should have used the back air though. He must not be quite into it. Look at that damage! Oh, I can't believe it. Fireball gives him a really That combo was outstanding. ZSS now down to 70%. What is with the cape, Mario? Mario, ooh, nice leg sweep. Not gonna be Not nearly quite. enough. Oh, and said he's punished for it. I can't believe it. 
that was a serious punish too. Like, but it's it, like, oh, the fireball should totally hit him, but instead, oh, oh she could be going down. She makes it. Oh, look at that death. hit! Bonks him right on the head up to 52%, 64, 65. Mario, what's going on? Oh, could this be it? Still could. Suit. Could Jax just simply dominate this one all the way through? Beautiful shield on the part of Chiro. He makes the fantastic shield. Mario can come back. Mario can make the comeback. He throws. Is that going to be a smash? It's not enough to oh. KO. Oh, look this at this. one thing to remember damage. about Zero Suit is she cannot get her up and beat, and she can't KO at a decent percentage or get her um, jump. Through. I believe it was a down and Look at that shield shooter. from Chiro. He's been on point with those shields. Is that going to be a KO? Is she going to edge guard? Is she going to. No! The it's not in the enough. background very well. Um, very well emulate the epic struggle between these two players. Absolutely, and you're completely right. Look at this 117% for Chiro on his last stop. Things do not look overly well for him. One thing Mario could have done there in Edgeguard is he could nice have swapped and an up and beat and perhaps punish Zero Suit and run oh, away. It looks that's like that's it. the end. Zero Suit gets taken down. Comes now, back. will Mario be able to pull and win together? Maybe. Zero Suit leaves herself open for an up smash. Oh, look oh, at that. Look at that. Tilts. Yes, 30%. That will give Mario a nice start. Oh, Coming look at 38%. Oh, oh, but look at that. He's off and on. Not sure what's going on. Okay. Oh, Mario gets a down smash. What is Zero going on? Fail. What? Zero Suit. Is happening! Oh, head bomb, down bomb. Are we about to see the most epic of comebacks? Mario, you're not. Oh. Can this be it? Mario's out! Oh, yeah. That's game! Jaxis! It may be named Smash on. but this Blaster Bay will take the win. Absolutely fantastic! That's a 2 0 for Jaxis. It looked so close at the end. Yeah, I was Edge really hoping racing. for a comeback from Mario there. I play Mario against my cousin Zero Suit all the time. He's competing melee a lot, so I'm playing against so a relatively good Zero. I'm very happy for, uh, for Jaxis.